this video that we're reacting to is a little bit older, right? But I've been getting into like Candace Owens, like older stuff and beefs that she might have had with people or other people giving their opinions on her. And apparently just probably things had a lot to say previously. Go and check out my other videos. But this one is speaking on the Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens beef more recently, but not super recent. But why not? Let's check it out. Let's check it out, fam. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Let's get into it. Um, so speaking of crazy behavior, this crazy... Oh, gosh. I, this is T. Okay. This is T. Okay. You know, Candace Owens works for Ben Shapiro. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. Hero of the Daily Wire. I do. Now, we all know there's this huge conflict going on mm -hmm. in Israel right mm -hmm. now. Now, me personally, I haven't really... I, I don't know enough. Like, the conflict is so confusing to me that I don't really... I think it is to a lot of people. Yeah, I, I don't really have a side, right? I could see both points of view from what I've heard, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I'm not, I, I, that conflict is very confusing. Well, it's been, it's a conflict that's been going on for thousands of years. So I don't think anyone really knows what to make of it. Exactly. There's some obvious things that we can all take. From it. There's also a lot. I don't know who the hell this person is. Is this the girl that probably be having co-host or not co-host, but literally do her own shows on just probably things now? I ain't going to front. People used to clown Pearly for her numbers. Her numbers still might not be as high as you would want it to be if you have that many subscribers. But what I will say is her recent stuff, ever since she started imitating Candace Owens' setup, right? Let me go to her parent channel and look. Has been um, not only better content-wise, still needs work, but it's better than her old stuff. Um, it's been doing better numbers-wise as well. I've been noticing she's... She's hitting the hundreds of thousands in certain videos. In this video from two weeks ago, almost hit a million. So she's getting her numbers up. I don't know if she's still uh, demonetized though, right? The people made that such a big deal and not realizing she could reapply in a few months. A lot that I don't think any of us will ever be able to Let me to see if she's still demonetized. So yeah. And what I've heard Candace Owens speak out about being called anti-Semitic. Because okay. they're basically lab labeling Candace as anti-Semitic. Now, I have a little bit of experience. That's messed up. I found out yesterday. I want to be clear that this is for educational purposes and I have no hate or disdain for any community. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Shout outs to everybody. YouTube don't 86 my ish. It's for educational purposes. The most Googled I've ever been yeah, I can was imagine. when I was called anti-Semitic. No, but it's so interesting because I don't even have an opinion on that stuff. Like, mm. I don't even have a strong feeling one way or the other. I could listen to someone on both sides. It looked like she might be monetized again. See? And people were clowning her, bro. Clowning. Same thing with Fresh and Fit. Trying to destroy them. And it looks like they might be monetized again. Right? So it was like, it was just a few months. And now they're back on to where they was. Talk, and I would understand where they were coming from mm -hmm. as of now. And yet I got labeled anti-Semitic. I was like, wow, what, what the hell? So uh, I heard Candace saying that she condemns genocide on Twitter. I know she had a clip of her talking about how she wanted to nominate Nikki Haley for the president of Israel. And um, she's sort of been poking fun at people oh, calling no, 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 everyone no. and everything anti-Semitic. And I, we're going to go through some of these. Now, there's a clip that came out of Ben Shapiro slamming Candace Owens for her absolutely disgraceful behavior in front of a visibly shocked audience. Shapiro goes on to say her foe sufficient. Guys, if y'all want to send me something to react to right now, we're going to try to react for a little while. Then we're going to get into some gaming. Uh, send it to me via Discord if you can. Investigation on this issue is ridiculous. Tensions rising at the Daily Wire. Yes, uh, the, the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this is disgraceful. Yeah. 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 I think she's been absolutely disgraceful. I think that, I think that her post sophistication on these particular issues has been ridiculous. It's not post this is his co-worker, and I think maybe even employee. Well, some people argue because she's a self-contractor, but let's just say co-worker. They, they have a working relationship. You out here bad mouth in your co-worker, Ben Shapiro. You nasty as hell for that, bro. I gotta call a spade a spade. You know what? I don't know if it's too early for the nasty song, but let's throw that out there. All right, let's throw that nasty song out there in the air. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You nasty.
nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name, you. It's ridiculous. Everybody can see the moves that she's making, the things that she's saying, and they're kind of distracting What is her behavior? What's he referring to? So there's a video. Here is one example of what Candace has been saying in the recent week. Owens endorses Nikki Haley for president of Israel amid collapsing support for Jewish state. Well, I am here today to endorse Nikki Haley for president of Israel. I think she's earned that. I think Bibi Netanyahu is going through a very bad time right now. Support for Israel has virtually collapsed socially. If you're paying attention to the trends and you're paying attention to what people are watching, you're paying attention to the protests. And the one person that I think is capable of getting it back is Nikki Haley with enough money from foreign interest lobbies. So there it is, guys. I'm endorsing Nikki Haley, president of Israel. So Nikki Haley, is, is. Nikki Haley is a presidential candidate in the U.S. Okay. Um, she worked for the UN a couple of years ago. I actually, I think this was like, if I'm not mistaken, I do remember when she said this, it was kind of like shade. It was her being like snarky and not like a attack on any like actual like country. Or anything. Met her. I actually met her a couple of years ago. Really quick selfie. I remember. I personally record. don't think women should really be in positions of power like that. So I'm not the biggest fan. I've kind of seen her. The, the little takes that I've seen of hers, I, I don't really like. Like she had one take that everyone on social media needs to have a public account. That, that seems like irony. I think you have. I don't enjoy the trolls. You guys annoy me. But I, yeah, he had to have known he was being videoed, right? Unless he just tipsy fam and someone was just like, hey, what do you think about Candace? And he was like, let me tell you that he just was like, let me get into my Jerry Seinfeld bag and just just be unfiltered and act like I'm doing stand up fucking comedy. That was so odd. Right. That was so odd. And I think Bishop Shapiro is usually a amazing debater. I'm not a, a fan necessarily of his content. When it comes to the Daily Wire, I like Candace Owens and I like Michael Knowles. I used to mess with uh, Matt Walsh. Now I feel like it's a little bit extreme now. A little, a little extreme now. All right? I still like you, but I can't watch it like every day, my nigga. I can't, I can't watch it every day, bro. At this point, this nigga is trolling too much, bro. This nigga, that whole anime shit, he was wilding out. That episode, I know it was a troll, but nigga, they, they was going hard with that shit. And then the other things, he goes beyond um, that on a regular basis. Love his documentary though. That was probably one of the best documentaries I watched in a long time. It was amazing. His and Candace Owens, I say on the Daily Wire, that's enough reason to subscribe right there. Those are some really good documentaries. Um, and I'm excited to see other ones, but to watch Matt Walsh every day, I can't do that. Um, Michael knows I could check out more. And I like Candace Owens. She's my favorite from Daily Wire. Ben Shapiro, I don't know. I kind of find his content a little bit dry, right? And he could be cooking. I just, I prefer his debates. I prefer Ben Shapiro's back and forths than just his day to day content. Maybe that's just me. I'm an oddball, I guess. Right. I, I will say you have the. There might be people that feel that way about me. <laughs> I prefer BXB's boys' debates, not his regular smoking and content. You know? The right to have an Absolutely. anonymous account with Absolutely. no pictures. Uh, I'm not, but like, you know, that kind of goes back to how women like to micromanage, mm -hmm. et cetera. And I think she's had a lot of pro-war stance. Okay. And so basically getting more involved in the Israel-Palestine conflict. That's, That's crazy. What Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, for. yeah. And so I want to say, I think she has that view of Nikki Haley because Nikki wants to get more involved. I think Candace thinks we should stay out of it based on what I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, there's three stances that I've seen. I've seen mm -hmm. people that are on the I side of Israel that we should get involved and support Israel. Mm -hmm. I've seen people that are on the side of Palestine that they're saying we should get involved and support mm -hmm. Palestine. And I've seen people that think we should just stay out of it. Mm -hmm. So um, Owens compares the media's recent outcry over. I think we should worry about America. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of America worrying about everything except for America. Anti-Semitism. Did their complete silence on anti-white racism? What makes the Jews so special? Let's pull it up. We had a similar thing happen here in the UK very, very recently. Our um, Home Secretary was sacked for 
she pointed because out for educational that the purposes. police in, in the UK were quite harsh on the... Uh, so is this supposed to be UK Pearl? Is this why Pearl was going so hard trying to say that Candace Owens hated pretty blonde woman? Right? Or a pretty white blonde woman? Because she hired one and works for one? Like, that's that's so hilarious to me. Um, but who is this person? I don't know what the hell this is. Um, British protesters. But I've seen her doing like solo podcasts without her on. Uh, I don't really know exactly the, the context of what was happening, but the police were harsh on the British protesters. And a lot of people were saying that this Suella Braverman lady spoke for the sort of quiet majority of British people. I don't know. I don't know enough about her to say whether she speaks for me or not. But what I do know is that we are seeing a lot of people talking about how come you can speak about anti-something, anti-something, yeah. but you can't talk about this. Well, I had a song yeah. dedicated oh, to just that. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch uh, Pro that frequently, but I've seen it on Pro. Yeah, that <laughs> like Anyways, um, let's pull up the video. Watching, there are a lot yeah. of people in America that are sitting here going, okay, well, can you answer why Jews are so special? Because as white people in this country and on university campuses, we are being taught that we are not allowed to have a voice. We have had to endure exactly what you're talking about, BLM. We've endured much worse than you have because it's in the actual textbooks. We are being told that we are systematically racist, that we are born wrong because of the color of our skin. And if we say mm -hmm. anything, we'll lose everything. This is the typical experience okay. on what- I get what she means. And I do think that, yeah, she's cooking. Um, white people in general, and people are going to call me all types of stuff. I get called all types of names every time I say this. But right now, in current day and age, white people get treated so unfairly, bro. It's disgusting, right? People, just because you're white, you're deemed as evil. I've seen content creators say that you have a lineage of evil. What kind of shit is that? I never heard nothing like What? It's just because I'm. Um, a certain race, um, evil. That's what certain people are out here saying. And yes, people are putting it in, in books and, and trying to teach it to children for them to just be born thinking because you're black, you're a victim or because you're white, you're evil and you need to be super apologetic and be over the top and wild out and be a savior. And it's, it's too much, bro. That's, that's too much pressure to put on somebody from birth for something that they wasn't even alive during. Fam, slavery was forever ago. Forever ago. And every time I say that, people start to call me all types of names. Like, I've, I've had people in my comment section say I'm a race traitor. Guess what? At least I'm not lazy. I work. I grind. Look, come on. Eight hours of a stream. I slept for some of that, but shut up. What you doing with your life? Start so sitting on the couch complaining and expecting to be a victim for everything to be given to you with your lazy ass. You can't be lazy and broke. Got to pick a struggle. I'm lazy and, and broke sounds crazy. <laughs> Imagine I'm lazy and broke. That, that sounds insane. I'm just broke. I ain't lazy. No, that's just but <laughs> being lazy and broke sounds wow bro like you gotta pick a struggle and chances are if you're not lazy you won't be broke for long I had to put the uncle rock of the joint on real quick I've never seen her before <laughs> me either um, but Pearl, like she hiring a new team. White campuses. So people, this is not what about us. And this is like actually Amazing. what we have been fighting for years. So it sort uh -huh. of arrived as right. I think for a lot of Americans, a surprise when they're saying, well, now that it's about Israel, which is something that's overseas, we need to, you know, hand these university professors. We need to do something about this issue. Why weren't we trying to correct course right. on this issue? Why weren't donors pulling their funding out of these universities? Why weren't these same things being said for these last I would say eight years of rampant BLM white man can't do anything right actively being taught in the classrooms. So there are people that are asking that question. Now, what I have said is that explicit calls for genocide, which was stunning to me to see that in, in, in Congress are completely wrong. It is com frankly crazy. I have not weighed in on the IDF's response in the same way that I, I have consistently said through every war, Ukraine and Russia, I don't want to be involved. I have said I don't want to be involved in Israel and Palestine, all these conflicts. 
my consistency seems to offend people, right? But I haven't made a single tweet or a single comment on IDF's response in Palestine. I think there's nothing wrong with saying you don't want to be involved. Got nothing to do with me. Palestine? I haven't said a single thing about that. I have said it is okay. always sad when a child dies. And the lack of humanity that I have seen from both sides has been very troubling for me. But well, to that say it, that I have to said- weigh in and suddenly, be, be, you know, wave an Israeli flag and say things that, you know, be, because you decide that you get to use my platform because it's personal to you. How is that fair to people? How is that fair? And then to then go a step further. And to- yeah, right. That is crazy. It sounds like Ben Shapiro and other people were trying to force her to agree with his opinion. Like, nah, you got to go with whatever we say. <laughs> which is it's crazy if she's saying i'm staying out of it i don't really have an opinion on it you can't really force her um especially if she wants to stay out of it if her stance is i'm pro-american the hell then, then i'm worried about what's going on in america and i have the same stance to suggest that it, it might be anti-semitic which is basically silence is violence as a leftist tactic to me feels very extreme This is not about a geographical, geopolitical dispute between Israel and Palestine. This is about an ideological mission to rid the world of Israel and and the Jews. That's what I think people misunderstand. Yeah, well, well, Jews live very comfortably in the United States of America. So they're not going to be, I mean, you know, obviously Jews live comfortably in Germany. Hey, listen, when it comes, I want everyone to be peaceful and good. I have no wish of ill intent to happen to anyone i got nothing but love for, for, for everybody on some heavy d type so i got nothing but love for you baby got nothing but love. y'all don't y'all don't know about that i'm showing my age showing my age but i got nothing but love nothing but love right when it comes to that i don't wish no bad things for anybody um but just because i want to focus on myself or my own country in the thousands and billions of issues we have here does not mean that I want any ill things to happen to someone else, right? Or another country or another place. And I think that's a a really unfair way to respond. It's kind of like you're almost emotionally manipulating people to agree with you. And it's unfair. Hey, before World yeah, War, but, before uh, either, Germany too. I, I, they did. I, Doctors, I lawyers, really struggle. I really struggle when people start using, you know, things that have happened in the past that are abhorrent, like slavery, to say that, like, if this doesn't happen, then slavery is going to be back. Or if this- she cooking, she's cooking, bro. Oh man, she not letting him get that off on her. That is an emotional manipulation tactic that a lot of people use. Bro. This doesn't happen, then it's going to be the Holocaust too. I think there's a lot more meaningful chatter and discussion that we can have. We don't have to resort to that kind of, you know. History um, repeats itself if you forget it, you know. You have to be conscious, and Jews especially. No. Unfortunately, I, I'm a true grandchild of all four of my grandparents are Holocaust survivors. So what do you the make of the Holocaust well? survivors and the Jewish people in New York City that are protesting on behalf of Palestine? That's a great question. I think, yeah, I think tripped up also he has too much personal attachment to it um to give a fully unbiased opinion um but i get it i understand right it's more fair than anything uh, but i don't really even want to speak on it because i don't know nothing because i'm more concerned about what's going on in america i think that there's a, a very strange bizarre um I mean, it's the same people that you would condemn as the people of the white people who bow down to BLM protesters who hate themselves and feel a certain sense of guilt. They feel a certain sense of, I think, a lot of the ideologies on the woke left, to the extent that things are good and prosperous and virtuous, they condemn as bad. And the things that are broken morally and depraved, they see as good. This is the lens by which the far left views things. And I think these Jews that happen to be politically far left and maybe are not that connected to their Judaism or are culturally, maybe culturally Jewish, but don't have a strong Jewish upbringing. Not to say that politics and being a Jew go hand in hand with the same political identity. But my point is, just like those, the, the white people who in, in mass on, were, were bowing down and feeling guilty about themselves simply for being white or People who feel guilty for being successful or the anti-capitalists who say anyone who has something is necessarily bad. Some people buy into that sort of masochism of hating themselves and to gain favor with people who want their destruction. It's so, really sick. So would, so would you say that in order to be a Christian, you have to, a Catholic, you have to support the Vatican. Like you can't be a, a, Jew, a Jewish person that doesn't, just doesn't support the state of Israel. 
Is that what you're implying? Yeah, well, because I, I have so. Jewish yeah. friends that are pro-Israel, and I have Jewish friends mm-hmm. that say that they are they just do not support Zionism at all, and that they think that the creation mm-hmm. of the Israel state is something that is political and has nothing to do with actually the Jewish faith at all. And so mm-hmm. I listen to both of those sides. I try to hear both of those voices, and right. I don't think having a different perspective makes any person less Jewish. And I think it's been problematic to hear, and this is not you, this isn't a person towards you, mm-hmm. when they say, well, to even have that perspective makes you not Jewish because it's so reminiscent. Are we still watching just pearly things? Damn. So how much of this clip do you use, girl? Yo, Pearl. <laughs> Yo, Pearl. Pearl, we at the five minute mark, Pearl. Damn, how much of this clip she used? Right. For me, of me saying I'm a black conservative, and they well, say, oh, well, even to I, be a black Republican, it's, it's, you know. Bro, better never copyright strike me. I know that. <laughs> the way she just snatching content. All right? At least I'm stopping and giving my perspective. And I'm not waiting five minutes to do Of course. That. So I didn't see anything anti-Semitic or hateful. I was, is that what they're saying? Is put yourself I mean, screen, I, I don't know what Ben Shapiro was referring to as this terrible behavior. Because to me, it's her exploring the ideas. She doesn't sound like she's saying she's an expert on the topic. She doesn't okay. sound like she's even. So she's like leaving her bias to the side with this one. Good on you, Pearl. Really taking a side. Um, she kind of seems similar to me where we're both like, I don't know what to make of it, so let me learn about it. And maybe she's a little bit more, like, uh, she probably is a little bit, like, knows a little bit more. But I'm like, I didn't even see her go hard one way or the other. Mm. Um, some of Owen's recent likes. Okay, let's see. Zionist lobby is starting to go after Candace Owens. Now she will learn. Cernovich says, by now it's clear Israel is indiscriminately bombing Palestine. It's a lie to say otherwise. You can say it's necessary. That's a matter of moral judgment and opinion, but please don't lie. Oh, she liked what? this one that said, I don't know, frankly, who should control Gaza when or if Hamas is wiped out, but I do know it can't be ben- Benjamin. Yeah. Taking people's likes into consideration is crazy. That's how on it went. When you reach a certain point, people, but why well, you like this tweet? You didn't tweet it yourself. Nigga, sometimes people like stuff by accident too, as well. Right? So I don't think that's enough to judge somebody based. Well, you like this tweet. That's in your eyes. <laughs> Pierce, Pierce Morgan Look, criticizes the Israeli, like no Israeli prime minister's plans to occupy Gaza after the bombing is done. One must wonder if Ben Shapiro feels similarly about Matt Walsh who has been similarly outspoken about Israel first Zionists. Following the GOP primaries debate last week, he said Republicans allegiance to Israel is a mental sickness. <laughs> this is not how people talk about their own countries. This is a uniquely modern American phenomenon. It's like a sickness, a mental sickness where some of our leaders or would be leaders Profess greater admiration and love for and pride in foreign countries than their own. It's just a crazy thing to say. Again, Matt Walsh slammed Nikki Haley for contradicting herself in last week's debate. Haley demands that the U.S. help Israel, but just moments later claims that Israel doesn't need the U.S. at all. Funny enough, this seems to echo a similar contradiction from Shapiro last month. Israel doesn't need us. We need them. If that's true, then. How can you say that in one breath and then in the next breath, tell us that it is imperative for the United States to help Israel? I thought you said they don't need us. I mean, they don't need us at all. We could not. And mind you, I don't want to like wish any malice or anything for anybody, but damn it. I, I don't really care about things that don't happen in America per se, bro. I got to call a spade a spade, right? I, people going to hate me for saying that. I just, I think we should focus more on what we got going on here. Exist according to you, and it would make a difference. You you cannot say both of those things. You cannot say they desperately need us and also they don't need us. Yeah, she's using the hell out of you. You really folks. expect us to believe that America benefits more from its alliance than Israel benefits from that same alliance? That is nonsense. No, Israel greatly benefits from America. They say that I want America to fight wars for Israel. Nope. Nope. 
First of all, Israel can take care of herself. <laughs> if Israel is forced to the wall, the possibility of nuclear exchange is extremely high. That is why it is very important that the United States provide the material aid to Israel and that they also dissuade Hezbollah from. Wow. Yeah, that does sound crazy. <laughs> that sounds sure. wild. It's a lot Look at her face. Her face is hilarious. <laughs> I was say that her facial reaction is more entertaining than pro. I don't even know her name yet. Going on at the Daily Wire. Can you imagine if this was the network? <laughs> so you have all four people like tweeting about each other. <laughs> and now, oh, are they, do you think they're going to fire Owens? No. You don't think so? No. I think they will. I think she'll either leave or they'll fire her. I think she'll Not right now. Leave. She'll leave. Leave. But though, oh, like publicly she'll leave. But really, she got fired. I don't think Walsh will leave, though. How have Walsh and Owens not been fired from the Daily Liar yet? <laughs> guys, come and join the Audacity yeah, Network. Like guy. Yeah, Wallen. They <laughs> they Wallen. Guys, guys, look at I have. A, I heard. I heard Candace's husband's from England. I mean, we're right, Candace. Look at this desk right here is free. Like, we have a slot for you. Look. <laughs> okay, Matt and Candace are about to get sad. Shawty, you, you wouldn't be able to afford Candace, though. Like, I understand the joke, girl, but you... You would not be able to afford Candace. Bro. Like, you're wild. Fact, yeah, Matt, look at We're in the UK. Okay, I know we had our debate. The weather's not great, but you know, we The weather's quite bad. <laughs> Big Ben, London Eye. Yeah, look at look <laughs> Ben's about to have a mass firing. It's got to be interesting having I I, t I understand you need to be somewhat ideologically aligned if you're going to be part of the same network. Mm -hmm. But it it's kind of begs the question of what can you differ on and what can't you? Yeah. Because that's such that's got to be such a big and like personal issue to Ben Shapiro mm -hmm. that I am surprised they like worked for him to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like it depends on what your whole structure is based off of. Right. If you're hiring like minded people. Right. And it's on some we riding with this. Then I would get what his reasoning and sentiment is. But the fact that. The Daily Wire isn't necessarily like minded. Yes, there is conservative, but there's different types of variations of conservative, right? There are people that look at it from more of an anti-establishment um, standpoint. There are people that's more from the Christian standpoint, maybe even other religious standpoints, right? So, like, if you look throughout the Daily Wire, everyone is like different in their own type of conservative way, right? That doesn't mean that they're all going to agree, especially when they're different forms of being conservative. So, of course, they're going to run into things that they disagree on. Usually, they play a joke out of it. This dude, Ben Shapiro, was a hair in that. I think he's the issue. He's the issue. It's too much entitlement. Right? Fam, like, it's way too much entitlement. People are not going to agree with you all the time, bro. Because that seems to be, like, a core issue of who he is. Yeah. So, I'm actually surprised he had them at all. Mm. Well, maybe because it when they joined. It wasn't that big at the time. No. Yeah. So now things are coming to the forefront. Emotions are playing probably a bigger part. and Things are coming a bit more evident to people how they feel about certain things. And therefore, maybe it's revealing certain ideologies and things that they have. I don't think it was disgraceful behavior, though. I, I did not see anything from Candace that was absolutely yeah, not disgraceful from Candace. behavior. I, I think it's him. It. I, to me, what I'm, I, what comes to mind for me is. In the book 1984, the idea of thought police. And unfortunately, oh, I'm seeing this pattern in the media across all sources right now. If you ask questions, you're automatically given a label of disgraceful. Mm -hmm. Why? I can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See how careful we're having to be. Yeah, like, no, I know. And that's the. That's the thing, and it's like yeah, no, that's real. Like you would get labeled something if you disagree or raise the question why. That's not just happening now. That's been happening since Socrates, bro. Think about that. <laughs> right, You're just getting people to question stuff like why we gotta do that. 
the people that empower are telling us to do this. Why? Then you just start seeing them get eliminated metaphorically. In video games, no, not metaphorically. There's people. Man, this shit is well documented. Right? Um, I always get his name incorrect. Fred Hampton. There you go. You have to just look into Fred Hampton. Everything I'm saying is facts. This is well documented. They made movies based on this shit, bro. Right? They're all were you getting people to question stuff? You gotta go. Then it makes you question what. And then it's like we when you have thought police. And you were prohibiting people from asking questions because what I have seen from Candace. Yeah, he's not her boss because um they have a what do you call it? It's like a self contractor type of contract, right? Where it's like he's not working, she's not working for him, she's working with him, right? Like I'm providing this service. Whatever you do with this service is what you do. That's the type of contract she has. So I wouldn't say he's her boss, but um colleague, yeah, I would say colleague. So I wonder why he didn't just call her and talk to her privately, right? He could have. This was my own eyes and ears. He probably did, and she didn't budge. That's probably what it is, right? Which is, that's what happens, right? I've noticed that even on YouTube, right? I don't have colleagues per se, but I guess maybe other YouTubers. I've had people contact me behind the scenes about my videos, telling me, well, you you lucky. I just contacted you, and I, I didn't make a video about it. Like that was supposed to fucking scare me. Do it. What you gonna do, bitch? <laughs> Don't call me out. What's up, nigga? You think I'm gonna run scared? No, what's up? What's good? All right, but people who feel like this, uh, maybe he talks to her behind the scenes and she didn't budge or like just choose to agree with him, which is how most people react based off of emotions. Oh, you yeah, hurt your feelings. I'm just gonna say sorry and agree with you. No. Right. So his next response is probably to go public and try to, you know, bash her. He probably 100% knew that someone was recording and it was going to get out because he stood by it. He didn't apologize for it. He stood by it and he kept going on Twitter. Yes. This is all I've seen with yeah. this dispute. I have come to the conclusion that she was not acting disgracefully. In fact, she was acting, she was acting curiously. And perhaps in certain areas when she was referring to the anti whiteness, she was playing the devil's advocate. Now, her intentions, we can't know. We're not inside Candace's head. No one is. So we can't infer what we think she's, she's doing. She's saying everybody what deserves respect. I do respect. think Ben Shapiro is doing. We can't be screaming all lives matter. And then when it's time to put up a shut up, but do you say all lives matter? You go, well, let's care about this one community more. Nigga, no, everybody, all of us, all lives matter. She's wearing fucking shirts with it. Like, what, what did you expect Candace's beliefs to be? She's standing on her principles. Where Ben Shapiro, on the other hand, flip-flopped. In his statement that he made, he's inferring that he knows Candace's intentions. And I've seen this pattern in every single conversation on this conflict. I do see the same pattern where people label you something for asking questions. And that begs the question, why can't we ask questions? Because society collapses when we stop talking to each other yeah. and we stop asking questions. Well, and I think it makes it worse because it makes one side seem... So True crime communities do that. I got canceled when the Sophie Long case was going on. I was the only one saying, why is everybody just jumping out there so quick? I got questions. <laughs> I got a lot of questions before I was talking about it. But BX, no, you got to go talk about it because bigger creators did. I got questions nigga. and guess what I was the only one that was right I was the only one that was right I'm fully well, like I can full fledged say that I don't believe I've seen any other content creators say let's wait I got questions let's wait for the facts everybody picked the side immediately suspicious <laughs> because nobody can say anything to them and so people that are in the middle are kind of like, what, what's going I don't know on? What to yeah. Think. Um, but you know, I I don't wish that they break up. I think Matt Walsh will stay. I think Candace Owens will leave. Mm -hmm. I think she'll either quit. Yeah, she can go independent if she wants to. Um, to be honest, is if she has the structure, right, behind the scenes to go independent, right? Didn't Tucker Carlson just go independent? Right. Never know, man. She might. Does she have like the stuff in the background? Does she have like the team? Does she have like a whole bunch of people to be able to do 
what the Daily Wire does for her on her own, right? And if she does, that's the dream. I do think that's the route she should aim for, right? Go full Crowder in this bitch. Ain't he that what Crowder doing? Crowder's independent now too, right? I have not watched the Crowder video in years. Oh, and since that beef with him and Candace Owens. I'm not the type of person to hold that against somebody, but I don't like the way he was acting. I mean, it was just, it was like so anti what he normally preaches, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, all that good stuff, bro.